Hey, Master Master Jesus here, and well, shall we just get on with the review? Well, we are reviewing Jim Carrey's The Grinch. I mean, it's about time I gave a go of his classic Doctor Who story, at least one of the adaptations. And I've gone with this one, because it's the first one I saw. I never, um, in fact, I've barely seen any of the Illuminations one, and I don't know what I've seen of the original Chuck Jones one, but I will get to watch that. And that will be one of my reviews for next year, at the very least. But Jim Carrey's The Grinch. People either love this movie or hate it. And I'm in the hating category. In fact, honestly, I think this is the worst Dr. Seuss adaptation I have ever seen. Yeah, even worse than the Cat in the Hat. I actually, I actually don't mind Cat in the Hat, strangely. I think it's much better quality of it than this. But, I mean, we all know the story. The Grinch is a... Uh, is a monster in Whoville who just doesn't like Christmas. He's fed up with it. He hates it. And he decides this one, on this year's Christmas, he's going to steal it. With the help of his dog, Max, he just, he steals, he plants an all-out heist to rob Christmas. And, um, but that's all I can really say. That's the... And, well, look, I love the original prowess by Dr. Seuss, and it still follows suit, but the, the, the additions they add in, especially the Grinch's backstory, now they'll do the same thing with the, the, the Illumination one, but they changed it, but look, what, the Grinch, he had a crush, he was being made fun of by a bully, who later became the mayor of Whoville, he, he stopped, um, when he tried to impress the girl, he ended up getting laughed at, and now resents Christmas, and despises all, see, all citizens of Whoville, even his adopted um, lesbian parents, well, actually no, grand, grandmothers, sorry, I, I barely even remember that much, well, okay, I remember it, but, we really you need to pay attention. The backstory itself is not good. Because at least, as we said, those, those two old ladies are cared for the Grinch when he was a kid, so surely he wouldn't have a grudge against them. Eh? Maybe he thinks that they've died, but in reality they're still alive. Also, this is, this is really corny. Corny beyond belief. Look. It's not haha -ha corny like the Adam Sandler Batman show. I, I don't think this is corny and even funny. Jeez, it it's strange. Look, and look, I'm getting on to to my the acting. Look, I don't know if this was the direction Ron Howard wanted to go, but it felt corny. Now on to the big elephant room, Jim Carrey, look. Jim Carrey can be a really good actor, and I like him in some movies, I mean I liked him a lot as Dr. Robotnik and Psych the Hedgehog this year. I mean, and he even did a great job as Horton, Horton is a who. I even know my name Mr. Popper's pain once, but look, he is a hit and miss actor for me. In fact, I can count a lot of movies that I did not like him in, I mean, The Riddler, Batman, Robin, let me snick it in. Series of unfortunate events, and of course the Grinch here. I just do not like him. It's just something. And look, I don't know if, if this would. It, I don't know whether this movie changed him in the way for when he did um his Robinson X's Christmas Carol, but it's. Look, I really don't know. I just I just don't like Jim Carrey that. I have a very mixed relationship with. I, I have a 
When it comes to Jim Carrey movies, it can be really mixed for me. Um, but in the end, he still gets a few good moments. Honestly, I think he has a um, much better time than they did the Rise Did Well with with Jim Carrey as the Grinch when they did exchange Cindy Lou. Now, Cindy Lou in the original book only involves one scene where she encounters the Grinch in stealing Christmas in her house and the Grinch and looks up to the Grinch and asks for a good Christmas. And the Grinch, pretending to be Santa, says he will. At least that's what I got out of it. Now they did do the same and they did in a way extend Cindy Lou in the Illumination movie, but but it wasn't but they still kept the original premise. This I don't like Cindy Lou in this being honest. Even the stealing Christmas scene is boring. Think back to Chuck Jones moment. Well, that is one of the that is so creative. Yeah. Yeah, the it's just blandly steals Christmas. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything I like? Well I do like the set design and and the um and at the end where the Grinch finally returns all the presents when he's doing this taking his Santa slide down and just to it. That that that's a lot of fun, but even the and even this um this garbage compact uh, transport thing that, that, that's pretty creative. But regardless, there's not much for me to like about Jim about the Grinch. Jim Carrey's over on Howard's movie. Look, regardless, Jim Carrey's The Grinch is a very will always be one of those movies that you either love or hate. I'm in the hairs category. But look, I know a lot of people who like it. But I know a lot of people who are very mixed on it. I'm gonna always be in that category where people do not like it. It's it's gonna be divisive. And look, there will always be divisive movies. Um, and your opinions won't be the same as as any others. I mean, I have movies that I hate, but everyone else likes. And I have movies I love, but everyone else hates. So, yeah, we're all subjective. And even like with Christmas stuff, you can find this stuff too. I mean, what was I review last year where I've. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah Elf. When I reviewed Elf last year, I said what well, a lot of people like it, but I don't. So, yeah. Um, so, what's the score? Um, 4 out of 10 half stars. It's, it's low, but. Trust me, look, people like it, I don't. In fact, um, I'm kind of thinking that my, I might be having a very similar mindset to my next review, or maybe it might be even worse than what I'm saying here. I won't say it till I get to it, but in the meantime, I'll end it off right here. This is Hasmas Reviews out. And I'll see you for my next review. Ciao.